Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars, the Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be back with you guys and filming another review. I know it's been a, a quite some time since I've done a review with life and everything. It's just been super crazy and hectic and trying to get in to film a video. It's just crazy. So, I'm finally happy to be sitting down and doing another review for you guys. And today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing to you guys my review of... The brand new fragrance, Carmen Electra. So this fragrance was launched this year, 2015, and is technically the debut fragrance from Carmen Electra. There is another one floating around um, with her name on it. I'm not sure if she took part in that or what that is, but this has been marketed as her debut fragrance. So this one is called Carmen Electra Eau de Parfum for Women. Um, it bothers me that the box does say for women, but that's just my personal opinion because fragrances can be for anyone. I don't feel like we need to like gender label fragrances. So that's just my personal opinion. It is what it is. So anyway, Carmen Electra for women. You've got this kind of um, widow's peak come on down right here. Catwoman-esque thing. Um, with the words Carmen Electra there on the front with the beautiful lips. Um, and then you've kind of just got that cheetah print. On the back, it shows you a picture of the bottle. It says Carmen Electra. It tells you all about the fragrance. And then the sides of the boxes are just cheetah print. The bottle looks like this. In my opinion, it's super unique and super adorable. I love the fact that this looks like a cat or a cat woman. It's got the cheetah print, which um, in the actual ad, she is wearing cheetah print. So I like how we kind of tie everything together with that. And then, so this one, I've had a lot of people want me to do this review. I've been wanting to do it for a really long time. Um, I finally picked up a bottle of this on my own from FragranceNet.com. This perfume is exclusively available through FragranceNet. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by FragranceNet. I will throw that out there right now. They did not sponsor me to say their name or anything. I'm just telling you guys that this is exclusively available through FragranceNet. The um, thing I love about FragranceNet is they have genuine products. Like, a lot of times when ordering online, you see a really cheap price people get afraid because oh my god why is it so cheap fragrance net has a way i'm not sure what it is to get fragrances cheap and sell them at a, a discounted price so you're not paying a ridiculous amount i believe after all said and done you pay like 35 bucks for this shipping and handling and everything included with that um i know it's like 29.99 plus things like five bucks to ship i'm not 100 positive on that so but anyway so this fragrance top notes are mandarin oranges Peach and blackberry middle notes are gardenia, jasmine, and orchid with base notes of amber, musk, caramel, and sandalwood. So, I will tell you guys that straight off the bat, this fragrance does smell very similar to another fragrance um, that's been greatly compared to, and that's the Viva La Juicy fragrance. Um, if you like the Viva La Juicy, you will definitely like this fragrance. So, let's get a little spritz on here. Oh, and then when you take the bottle, the lid off, it comes off like that. So, like, your ears come off like this, and then they go on like that. And it's got, like, the little widow's peak on there. So, when you first spray it, I definitely get that orange mandarin blossomy kind of orangey flower opening. The blackberry is definitely in there. Um, definitely kind of adds that fruity backness to the fragrance. As it starts to dry down, though, um, I get more of the peach and the caramel. Definitely kind of a sweeter, caramely gourmand fragrance. Not overly sticky sweet, not overly gourmand. Still got those florals to back it up. As we start to get into the heart, though, I can smell the gardenia and the jasmine, but it's not overly powering and um, stupid floral, if that makes sense. Like, stupid, sticky floral. It's not that kind of scent. It definitely is that kind of girly, feminine, um, classic Viva La Juicy, Glowing Goddess, Royal Revolution kind of scent. They all kind of, you know, Rogue Love, they all kind of have that similar scent. If you like any of those fragrances, I definitely would blind buy this and pick it up. Since it is exclusively available online, it's going to be very hard to find it in stores to smell it first. So, um, as it dries down, you definitely, that caramel kind of balances out. The blackberry from the top um, kind of underlies and laces in with the caramel to kind of balance it all out. Lasting power on this is about six to eight hours. Um, it is an eau de parfum, so, and I did buy the 100 ml bottle myself, so 
Um, projection wise, it does kind of project out a little bit, but it's not super overly powerful. So you don't have to, one or two sprays will do you good and you won't have to overdo it. Um, and it does last all day, so it's a good kind of safe fragrance. Um, definitely probably a daytime fragrance. I don't see this as a nighttime fragrance. It could be. It could be your like night, day into night transition as it starts, excuse me, as it starts to dry down more, it does get more, um, caramely and more warm. So I definitely could see it as a day into night transition fragrance where you just top it off if you're going out for a night or whatever. Um, best time, in my opinion, would just be day and springtime. Spring, summer is kind of the fragrance I get out of this. Just because of those fruits in it, the, the apricot, the, um, blackberry, that kind of stuff. It does give it that kind of summery, springy type scent. So, there you guys go. There is my review of the debut fragrance, Carmen Electra by Carmen Electra. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. And I'll be back for another review soon. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.